Hundreds of people joined together for the Hands Around the Capitol rally at the State House today, the event organized by the Maine Right to Life Committee, and it was held today to discuss outlawing abortion on the anniversary of Roe v. Wade. We are winning hearts to the case of life. That's the motivation for the people in this crowd, marching through temperatures in the teens. We have probably four to 500 that come here every, every year, and our pro-life people are very, very dedicated. Saturday's hands around the Capitol rally in Augusta brought Mainers of all ages together on the 46th anniversary of the Roe v. Wade ruling. They faced the cold to oppose abortion and want Roe v. Wade overturned. The group met first for mass at St. Mary's of the Assumption Church, then sat down for speeches by leaders including abortion activists, Portland Bishop Robert Dealey, and former Republican Congressman Bruce Poliquin. The good Lord wants warriors. You're a warrior. I'm a warrior. If you don't participate in this process, we know who will. Poliquin's remarks referred often to his Catholic faith. He also told a personal story about a couple he knows faced with a difficult decision. The mom and the dad made a decision for that child to live. I can't imagine what my life would be, what this world would be without my son, and I can't imagine what this life would be without Zach. After the speeches, the audience got up and marched in the cold to the state house, holding signs shaped like stop signs. Pro-life politicians who were there say they were excited to be part of a growing annual event they see as a step to abolishing abortion. Everyone who sees a, a pregnancy sonogram, be it a man, woman, boy, girl, they see a baby. And when they see those babies, it makes it harder for the far left to say that's a blob of tissue. And in a statement, Amy Cookson, a spokeswoman for the Planned Parenthood Maine Action Fund, told News Center Maine politicians and extreme groups attack health care. They disproportionately impact people of color, women, the LGBTQ community, and young people. With the new administration support of leaders in both the State House and the State Senate, we will be working to ensure access to health care does not depend on who you are, where you live, or how much money you make.